everyone. I am Ms. Hu, your physics teacher. And in this video, I'm going to show you the basic understanding of how to conduct a practical experiment for light refraction using a glass block and four optical pins. For this experiment, you're going to need a foam board, a blank piece of paper, a rectangular glass block, four optical pins, a protractor, and of course, a pencil and a ruler. On the blank piece of paper, first of all, we're going to trace the outline of the glass block. So place the glass block in the middle of the A4 paper. Using the pencil, we're going to trace the outline of the glass block, like so, around the edges. Next, remove the glass block, and you can see we have the outline traced out over here. Next, we're going to draw the incident ray. So, making a marking somewhere here on one of the long edges. Using the protractor, we're going to measure out the normal line, which is 90 degrees to the boundary. And let's say the incident angle is 30 degrees. So from the normal line, 30 degrees would be here. So using the ruler, we're going to connect the dots. So these two points will make the normal line. Oops, it's a little bit out. Okay, so normal line. And next we'll connect these two points to make the incident ray. So this is the incident angle, which I'll label here, 30 degrees. With the foam board, we're going to place the foam board underneath the paper. So the purpose of the foam board is to allow the pins to poke through and to hold up. Using two optical pins, we're going to poke the pins on the incident ray Try to get them to be as far away from each other as possible, at least 5 centimeters apart. The further apart, the better. When you poke the pins, try to make the pins upright. So the purpose of the foam board is to hold the pins so that they can stay upright. Now, let's put the glass block back into the outline we have traced. Next, what we need to do is we need to look at the pins from this side and observe the refracted images. So we can't see it from this angle, we need to move lower. So in order to observe the images, we need to observe it from this view. You can see the two original pins and within the glass block, if I just move a little bit lower, you can see the images formed here and here. This is the edge of the glass block, so that's not the image we're looking at. So it's this image and this image. What we need to do is we need to position our eye line so that the images line up in one straight line like this. So if I shift, you can see that they're not in line. So we're going to reposition our eyes until the images are in one line. They don't have to be in line with the original objects. Now with two more pins, we're going to place them in such a way that they're in line with the images. So you can see here the image. We'll make the images in line. And we're going to place the pins in line with those images. So from the top view, this is what it would look like. What we will do next is we will remove all the pins and the glass block. Now, you should be able to see the holes made by the pins that we placed on the other side of the glass block quite clearly. We will use a sharp pencil and a ruler to connect these two holes in order to draw the emergent ray. The line of the emergent ray should be extended until it touches the edge of the rectangular glass block. 
Then we need to connect the two points on the opposite edges of the glass block in a straight line like this that will represent the refracted ray. Just for clarity, we will label the light rays as the refracted ray and emergent ray. The angle between the normal line and the refracted ray is the refracted angle. To measure the refracted angle, we just need to use a protractor. And as you can see, the refracted angle in this practical which I have conducted is 18 degrees. So I'm going to write the value of the refracted angle here as 18 degrees. So the incident angle is 30 degrees and the refracted angle is 18 degrees. And this is how you conduct the lab practical for light refraction using a rectangular glass block and four optical pins. I hope you found this video educational and helpful. Don't forget to click like and subscribe with notifications on so that you can get more updates on videos from Ms. Ho about how to conduct experiments in a physics lab. Thanks for watching.